Hi, I'm Arden Tillman, president of Silver Springs Management, and I am right here at the Kayak and Canoe Launch in Silver Springs State Park. We're getting ready to head out onto the Fort King Waterway to do a little bit of a guided kayak and canoe tour. So come along with us and enjoy some of the sights that we point out along the way. Okay. Now I'm gonna help hold it stable while you get in. And when you put one foot in, remember, it stays on there. Yep, you can just slide yourself forward over the top of the seat. Perfect. When we're all in the water, I'll show you a little bit more about it. Okay? They're gone. Yep. No, you're good to go. Good. So as you can see in our group here, I'm guiding our two paddlers along and kind of explaining some of the things that we're seeing along the riverside, whether it's the natural wildlife or the, the plants and animals that are native to the park. And then along the Fort King Waterway, we also have some really interesting replicas of points of historical significance. So while the river is always open for guests to take a paddle on their own, we also offer these guided tours. And it's a really unique way to gain some interesting information about the area, the history, and the natural environment around us. So I highly recommend taking a paddle down the river with one of our guides. You're gonna learn a whole lot, and they're gonna make sure that your trip is maybe a little more enjoyable. They add a little bit of a safety component to it, some reassurance if you're not too comfortable paddling, and you're just gonna enjoy the day with someone to help you along. It's beautiful out here. And you guys will notice is one of the things that makes this river kind of unique. If you look below your kayak, it's super, super clear. You can even see your shadow on the bottom of the riverbed. And that has to do with the sheer volume of water that this set of this system of springs pumps out into this river. And it's about 380 million gallons of water that come out of the river daily right now. So what you guys are gonna start to be able to see here is some of the Fort King replica. Now, this was not the site of Fort King. Fort King was about a mile and a half from here, the actual location of it. Um, but the replica that was built here is pretty close to this, what, what you would have seen back in 1827 when Fort King was actually built. And what you're gonna start to see up here on the right-hand side of the riverbank is what some of the surrounding town and supporting community might have looked like during the time that Fort King was the center of the town in the center of Marion County. Oh, this little guy right here, that's a comoran, and um, they are aquatic birds. Um, they spend their time swimming around just like you see him. When he's not swimming or fishing, he'll be out somewhere drying his wings. Now, the comorans used to be used um, for fishing. Fishermen would put uh, a thread, like a little necklace, around their throat. So when they dove down and they would they would fish or try to catch fish, they couldn't swallow it. So the bird would come back up to the boat and they'd just take they'd take the fish from the bird and send them back down. Well, the most important thing when you're on the waterway is that um, everything here is wild, and the alligators they're afraid of us. <laughs> You know, so just like the rangers uh, have explained, you guys might have seen them earlier talking about snakes only bite when they're threatened. It's kind of the same thing for alligators, just the consequence of an alligator is a bit bigger. But we just leave them alone. You know, we leave them alone in their natural setting. They're naturally um, inclined to avoid people. So there's really nothing dangerous about being out on the river other than just respecting the wildlife, that's it. So for any of you paddlers out there, brand new to paddling or seasoned pros, we do have kayak and canoe rentals here at Silver Springs State Park that allow you to go down the Silver River, just like we're doing right now. Now the prices start anywhere from about $14 for an hour of kayaking and canoeing on your own, and you can add on to that incrementally by the hour. Now we also have a couple of different guided paths that we're going to be offering in the next days those are going to start becoming available and those prices start around $35 for a guided paddle and go on up from there depending on how long you want to spend on the river and how in-depth the tour you wish to take is. 
So again, we've got a little bit of something for everyone, no matter how experienced or how new you are to paddling, and you're sure to see something really exciting on this beautiful, beautiful river. Now in addition to some of the kayaking, like you can see us doing right here, we do have something to offer every family member if you come here to Silver Spring State Park. We've got glass bottom boat rides um, where you can get a very relaxing view of the river, no work required. You can just cruise on down while one of our very experienced captains talks about what you're going to see on the river. Uh, we've got hiking trails, biking trails, we always have some type of ranger program going on. So there's a lot to see and do here at Silver Spring State Park. And that's a really big part of our revitalization effort. We want to make the park as accessible and enjoyable to any guest who might want to come spend the day here. Well, for those of you out there who might be interested in getting a little bit more information on a guided kayak tour of your own, or any of the other activities we have here at Silver Springs State Park, visit www.silversprings.com and you can get all the information you need. Hope you enjoyed your time with us today.